Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Zenia Vibes where we eat and vibe. In today's episode, I am going to be doing a food review of these pickled jalapeno quail eggs by Seven Farms. I'm going to be trying these. I'm very excited because they have jalapenos. Um, I love pickled jalapenos. So here's a close up. Okay, so I will be doing that today, but um, before we get started, I did have a job interview, I think the 22nd, and I got hired. Um, the only downfall about it is that I don't start for a whole month, literally. Um, they asked me about coming to orientation on the 23rd of May, and I didn't show it in front of them, but my jaw kind of dropped. I'm like, <laughs> not for another month, but it is a new store opening. So that pretty much explains why. Um, so yeah, that's the day of my orientation, the 23rd of May. I'm excited. I'm going to be back in a social setting. So I'm happy about that. Because it's like when you work in a warehouse, sure, you have your coworkers to talk to, but nothing beats being able to talk to strangers and like customers and stuff like that. Um, just the bond you guys get and everything like that is pretty awesome. Like I miss the days where I had bonds with customers from like Kroger and Target and stuff like that. And they literally come to the store just to see you. And it's just a good feeling overall, and I miss that. So not only that, I do have a lot of anxiety that I never had before. And I believe it's from doing all these warehouse jobs where basically you're working alone for the most part, and you only have employees to talk to. And for me, it's not fun because most of the time, the employees are just talking crap about the job. And all this negative stuff and, you know, drama. I don't want to hear that. I would love to get back into like a customer coming into the store and asking me how my day is going and telling me updates and the news and talking about the weather, stuff like that. Just a genuine social interaction. I miss that very, very much. So I'm excited to say the least. A little nervous, but overall excited. So without further ado, let's eat and vibe. Let's try these pickled jalapeno quail eggs. So I showed them already, but I don't know if I'm going to like the actual egg. Honestly, I'm probably not. All this stuff at the bottom, look at all that. That makes me think it's going to actually be good though. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Mmm. Smells decent. I like it. I like it better than those um, other the pickled eggs I tried in a few videos back. I like the smell way better than those. I'm going to have to try a jalapeno first, I think. Oh, it has carrots too? Oh, that's exciting. And I believe that's garlic pieces at the bottom as well. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Um, let's see. Okay, so ingredients, quail eggs and water, distilled vinegar, water, pickle jalapenos, jalapeno peppers, water, vinegar. Why do they keep repeating everything? <laughs> Salt and calcium chloride. I believe I said that right. Sweet bell peppers, salt, dehydrated garlic, and crushed red pepper. And remember to refrigerate after opening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm so not excited. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot to tell you guys. To, well, I guess I'll do it after the little food review. So I guess I will tell you guys after it. Okay, so I, I'm tempted. I have to try a jalapeno. Okay. Really hope this is good. I actually just had some pickled jalapeno the other day. Mm. 
Well, I get this can of pickled jalapenos that comes with carrots in it as well. And that brand is really, really, really freaking good. Um, I, I didn't get that, um, amazement off of these. Yeah, no. Hmm. I don't like them. I don't think I'm really into them. But anyway, okay, so let's get a quail egg. Oh, by the way, I love this fork. Look how long it goes. <laughs> hey, hey, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Or, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> if you know, you know those references. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the comments. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm not excited about this. I don't even know why I do this stuff sometimes. Drip, dwip, 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 dwip. One more drip. One more. One more. One more. There it goes. Okay. So, it's very small, which I'm happy about because I'm so not excited at all to try this. I actually had eggs for breakfast. <laughs> That's the funny part. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. They spicy? What the heck? Is that spice coming from the jalapenos? I'm not understanding. There is no way that quail eggs are just naturally spicy, dude. <laughs> like what? The eggs are actually really spicy. Wow. But I have to say, they are not that bad, y'all. Mmm. Huh. That is so odd. How the quail eggs themselves are, like, spicy. They give you a nice kick. There's a nice little punch there. Especially for them being little small things. Those little small things. I'm actually shocked. I did not think I was going to like this. But I do. It's not something I would get again. To be honest. But it's actually not bad. They are actually really tasty. I think I'm going to have a second one. Oh, I'm trying to, oh, come here, get over here. Okay, I'm going I'm to just like throw the whole thing in my mouth and see what happens. Okay, guess I'm just going to. Not bad. Okay. Okay, so the jalapenos alone don't do much for me. They're not exciting. But the quail egg itself is actually really good. And if you like a kick, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm actually going to give these a good score I have to say, I'm going to give them a 7.9 out of 10. They literally shocked me. I did not think I was going to like these at all, to be honest. 
and I've been avoiding the video because I thought I really was not going to like them. Eating them alone is okay, but I'm pretty sure putting these in like a salad would be nice. Something like that. But yeah, this jar will not go to waste. It will be used and I'm pretty sure Ellie probably will like these as well. I can't say for sure, but I'm almost certain she will because they're not that bad. Um, but yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about before I get off of here is um, I was walking to the store yesterday, actually, and I found a bike in the trash. It was actually four bikes, and I noticed the one on the bottom looked like it was in really good condition. Mind you, these bikes were all rusted and beat up, but they were still usable, you know? It just looked like maybe they were preparing for spring, getting rid of old bikes and buying new ones. So it was bulk night. I got lucky. It was during the day they put the bicycles out early. So I grabbed a bicycle. And what shocked me is when I got home, I decided to Google it, the brand, because I've never heard of it. Turns out this bicycle is like a $400 retail bicycle. I could literally resell it, fix it up, resell it, and probably get over $200 for it if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to keep it because I've been wanting a bicycle. I'm still going to buy one for like my, my size, my height. It's a BMX bike, so yeah, but I decided to grab it as a fun bike for myself just to have fun with and ride around and go to the boardwalk and stuff like that, and it was an amazing find. I'm actually going to put a picture of it right here for you guys. And wow, I could not believe that it was like a over $400 bike and it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it just has some rust and no chain. That's it. All I have to do is get new bolts and stuff like that. And bam, it's like brand new. The tires are immaculate. The frame looks nice. The seat is in good condition. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy that I got lucky. And out of all the bikes there, that's the one I wanted. I was like, this is a cool looking bike. I've always been into BMX bikes when I was younger, but I never learned. You know, I never took time out or had someone teach me um, to BMX. So, and I didn't hang around that crowd either. Um, so I've, although I've never gotten into it, I've always had a passion for BMXing and stuff. I always thought it was a cool sport. So yeah, anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Um, it made me think maybe I should become like a garbage picker or like a dumpster diver so I can start reselling things and making money that way. That would be really cool to do. So I know it's been a few days since I dropped the episode. Um, sorry about that. This month has been kind of a struggle, um, but hopefully things will get better soon. As you know, I, I start a job in a month, so... That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, until the next episode, peace. Hashtag eat and vibe.